Hello Aries, I'm Mystic Jen and welcome to my channel of Mystical Capricorn Tarot which has been rebranded. Hope everybody's doing well and fantastic. This is your mid-month check-in for May of 2023. Yes, I am trying to start this channel back up again, trying to jump start it. You know, I'm still... I still got the subscribers, some, a lot of them. Well, not a lot, but a lot compared to everything else. So I'm going to give another go at this. So anyhow, if you're new here and you just happen to find me, if YouTube pushes this, this video out, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and check in and get your card to see what's going on here show me the energy for aries please for mid-may 2023 show me energy for aries for mid-may 2023 okay okay aries here's the dealio with some oracles here you've got message in a bottle You've got the here and now, and you've got soulmate. Oh, I can see where this is going. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yep. Okay, here's what we got going on here. Here's the dealio. You could be receiving some kind of surprise message from somebody that you looked at as a soulmate that it's it's almost it almost feels like you may have been waiting on this or expecting this I'd be surprised I wouldn't be surprised if the three of wands shows up here but it seems like um, you were caught in the here and now just kind of hanging in there hanging out unable to move forward but yet I'm not really in the past just kind of here uh, you're not exactly looking forward to the future at the moment, and neither are they. It seems like I'm looking at two people that are stuck, and they may be at, at a distance from you as well. But it feels like a soulmate connection. You can expect some kind of message coming in from them. That's what I get. It's like a message in a bottle. It's like from a remote island, you know, when you think about that in the movies and Hollywood. And so it does seem like somebody's long distance. Maybe somebody moved away. Now that soulmate can't, doesn't have to be romantic. Uh, it could be like an old friend that you lost touch with because you moved away. They moved away. I do not know. We shall see. And we'll get your cards here. Okay, can I have three more cards, please, Spirit? Yeah, there's a lot of completions, a lot of endings. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is something painful here. Still, again, doesn't mean it is romantic. You know, even friends or family members, you know, still they have a falling out or whatever. But you're starting off here with a star. The star does represent some kind of soul path, some kind of soul energy. And... This character is actually looking towards the past. I feel like somebody who somebody's going to be reaching out to you, whoever they are, they are very hopeful that their message will be well received. Okay? There is and this even represents to me a sense of divine timing and healing. Uh, somebody has been really caught in their head overthinking it. Um, Eight of Swords. And that Eight of Swords to me is somebody who is afraid to see 
afraid to acknowledge, afraid to make a move. So I'm getting somebody here who I feel is more in contemplative mode than taking action at this moment. Uh, this person, whoever they are to you, reverse energies as it applies, represents a, a, a long, a, like a deep-rooted situation. We have Ten of Pentacles here. Most likely this represents family, but the Ten of Pentacles also can stretch out to community, but it's somewhere where you have planted roots. Again, um, I will have to pull clarifiers on this, but somebody is fearful. They don't know, like, you know, when I said that they, they're hopeful that their message will be real well received, that's their fear. There is a certain fear of abandonment and emotional disappointment that is keeping them from making that move, caught in the here and now. Do I move forward? I can't go back in the past and change what happened. I feel very strongly connected to Aries. Can this be fixed? Can we heal this with that star energy? Then we also have the Three of Swords here. That's that disappointment and that pain. And there, there was something here that was a, a bit painful. And then we have the Justice card. Balanced pathway, doing the right thing, karma. What I get here is somebody did something without thinking or without in regards to the other person. And we have somebody here who has not been able to let it go. Somebody wants to come in and make things right. They want to right a wrong if they can. The something feels very deeply rooted. And this is a very long history. It feels like family. I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. You know, that somebody... There, this might be a blockage, but the Nine of Wands also represents somebody who feels very much alone and maybe even guarded. Queen of Cups. Hierophant. This could even have been a marriage or a high-level commitment. That's more or less what I'm getting. Okay, what else do we have, please, Spirit? We have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, under the Three of Swords. And we have the Ten of Wands. That one to come out with. We have the Ten of Wands. The, and we also have um, temperance. We have a lot of healing energy here. I think that whoever you were dealing with, Aries, really has been struggling and wanting to come in and repair this connection. Um, we have somebody here who is dropping their barrier. Okay. Somebody had barriers up that was looking towards the past, guarded because of a past experience. But that barrier has seems to be coming down, and that Queen of Cups is looking into the future with her heart full of love. And no longer overthinking things, okay? Trying to, basically, somebody's getting out of their head and into their heart space. We do have... Some kind of long-term commitment here. High-level commitment. Um, 
somebody and then uh, traditions and you know that's family traditions I feel that so much that this is family could be father figure somebody in who it was very important to you could be a husband could be a wife I'm feeling a very masculine energy to be honest I just gotta be honest but whoever this was was a family person we'll just say that a family person that may have done some juggling Aries two of pentacles with the three of swords okay some juggling that may have caused some pain it's almost feels like maybe they somebody was sitting on the fence and didn't know what to do with their energy they were very much guarded and and very and almost like again stuck in their head overthinking and whoever this was I think that they didn't there was a certain opportunity with you that they did not take seriously or did not act upon out of fear But whoever this is, there was some kind of disagreement, some kind, something that had happened that there was this juggling act. And Ten of Staffs, this is something that they've been carrying with them ever since the break. Um, justice with the, eight, with the Ten of Wands. Somebody wants to come in. They want to do the right thing. They want to try to make things right. How long ago this happened, I do not know. We do have temperance here. Again, we have some kind of time elements built in. But it feels very much like somebody wants to balance things with you. Somebody wants to heal. We, do, we have the temperance and we have the star here. Indicating healing to me. We have the queen of cups here somebody's heart space full of love and somebody coming out of their head into the heart space somebody who recognizes you Aries as some kind of soul make connection soul tie somebody who understands that they may have juggled you or they could not decide or make some kind of decision in regards to your relationship somebody may have Decided to take the easy way out. Kind of like abandon their responsibilities. Um, I'm getting very much these vibes that. Whoever this is. It's like. I, I get the vibe of. Um, I want to be free, and then if Aries is still around, once I've sowed so my wild oats, then I will come back. It's almost like that once they were committed, um, for somebody, I'm hearing midlife crisis. That's for somebody. If somebody did... I. I I mean, it's going to be different for everybody. Whatever the disappointment was, whatever the juggling act was, whether they juggled you with somebody else, or if they juggled the commitment versus the freedom, or whether they were going to commit. But something feels very strong here, like, a, like you knew them for a long time. You may have been committed, more committed to them than they were to you. But whatever this is, there's a message coming out of the blue from this person. Okay. We do have balance. There's a lot of balance energy here. A lot of energy if I want to make things right, I want to balance things. The heroine with the female. Or if you are the female, the female wants to do the balancing. Okay, take that as it resonates.
Polaris. Now the Polaris energy is some kind of knowing, some kind of an epiphany. It's like some kind of higher power, higher power connection. So this person that you were dealing with, they had, yeah, alchemy. Okay, that's kind of like magician energy or temperance energy. You know, somebody's creating something. Somebody may have went into meditative state, trying to manifest something here. But they're trying to create an environment. This might be something that has been manifested. Maybe you manifested this. But I just get this image of somebody. A female wanting to balance the energies. Or, or somebody wants to balance the energies with a female. There has been some kind of epiphany. Some kind of enlightenment. And time flies. There ha there's definitely been an element of time here. Some time has passed. And for some, it may feel like yesterday. Um, we have accepting the quest and fellowship. This is about get coming together. Somebody wants to come together. They want to know if you are going to answer that call, if you're going to take on this, if you're going to try to work on this. This is somebody I think that they may have done a disappearing act. And it's been a hot minute. But there's definitely the, this vibe here that this person wants to come back in and try to make things right with you. Okay, what else here for Aries? Magician in the mirror. A lot of magician energy. Somebody is manifesting. It is possible you were trying to manifest something with this person. Trying to get them to come back. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Um, we do have the contract. This is similar to the energy of the justice card that's why I'm, why I'm feeling a lot that this could have been a marriage door to personal healing somebody wants to open up that door to personal healing and they want the sun to shine between the two of you again that more healing energy magician in the mirror somebody had to, took a long hard look in the mirror and they didn't like what they saw somebody did a deep dive um, deep within their soul. Somebody did a deep dive spiritually. And it's like, I feel this, they made, they, by them not making a decision was them making a decision. And I think that when the connection got to committed, Somebody decided that they did not want the responsibility of maintaining a commitment here. So there, there's something here about responsibilities that somebody abandoned, didn't want to deal with, didn't want to look at. And I am definitely picking up a feeling of regrets here. I'm hearing a song, you don't know what you got until it's gone. And it's also a saying, but there, Warren, I, I want to say Warren might have sung that. Don't know what you got until it's gone. I, I want to say Warren um, might have sung that. But that's kind of what's, what's playing in my head now. They're recognizing they didn't know what they had until it was gone. Well, they dev somebody is like, I want my Aries back. That is the vibe that I get. I want my Aries. Ultimately, the tarot cannot tell you what you're going to do. Um, the tarot cannot dictate action. And 
and only you know what you're going to do. Only you can make that decision for yourself. Um, I'm sorry, I am looking for a specific deck and it seems to be missing. I know what I'm looking for and it's not here. Where it is, I do not know. I don't think that is this it. Nope. Right in front of my eyes. Figures, I am being blind as a bat. Okay. A few more cards and we'll call this a read. Okay, what else for Aries? Fans, fan the tree. Yeah, this is family. This is family oriented. Most likely. Uh-huh. Yep, most likely. Committed relationship with somebody. Uh-huh. Somebody was cut off from the family. Um, and I think it's by choice. Because they were choosing to cultivate something else. They, somebody thought that the grass was greener on the other side. And they found themselves in a labyrinth. Lost. No direction. You know, that somebody had a real aha epiphany moment. Potentially they had a tower moment in their life. Somebody was, has been struggling with this. And somebody wants to come back and try to see if they can make things right. Wow, Aries. But that's what I have for you. I love you all and I will see you in the next reading.